Mystery School 2 is ending by the end of the year. By January, I want to start <coughs> Mystery School 3. And this Mystery School 3 is going to be a new experiment that I just have uh, been successfully uh, able to complete. And this experiment is how human beings can use extraterrestrial knowledge that uh, the yogis and rishis were using. And this knowledge or wisdom is based totally on uh, on-demand knowledge, not accumulated wisdom. On-demand, you should be able to know what what to do and what not to do. And uh, the technology is to use rituals uh, predominantly. And rituals are very powerful. And even in Christianity, the ritual of uh, the Last Supper has been studied even today. And miracles do happen when people do this uh, particular ritual of uh, Jesus sharing his uh, body and the blood with, with his uh, disciples. I will give you an example. I just completed, uh, uh, some of you may have even watched the Muruga immersion. It is how to use a deity to come and help you using rituals and uh, mythological motifs. The program involved participants becoming uh, the gods themselves, destroying negativity. So I made them to dress up like uh, Muruga and then go to destroy uh, effigies of the negative uh, demonic beings. There was one person who was completely possessed by a deity and then he went and uh, strangled the demon. Just before that, he had an experience. If you don't destroy this demon, your family will be ruined. Your finances will be ruined. And I could see the passion that he had. So I was so amazed at the results uh, that were easily uh, available for people when they dramatize the mythology and invoke the divine beings in themselves. So I have just started calling this program Owning Gods and the Universe. Last night I had a dream and in the dream I just had a download of how this can be a new civilization, uh, a new uh, knowledge tradition can be created uh, 
just by dumping our rationalistic uh, approach and our technology dependence. So the program is going to be completely uh, uh, novel and then I will uh, explain to you by showing some pieces of the immersion program now when uh, maybe I'll play them. Mm, we have to do some editing and play how dramatic it can be, the changes also. And I want to also talk to you about the dream I had. In the dream, you could, uh, with the help of the divine, live a particle reality. A particle, although is very small, it is infinite in its nature. With, a, with no limitation of time and space. So we have to really develop a consciousness in which we are able to do things instantaneously, know things instantaneously. All these are going to be just owning different gods and the universe. And this is the methodology of the yogis. So you can become a god like Muruga, who can give you, who can open your third eye. And then there are time frames which you can use to awaken him. You have to dress up like him. So it's going to be a lot of fun rather than meditation, which uh, we have been doing. So we will provide you with all the material ahead of time. I'm going to do some work of how uh, I'm going to organize the 12 month program. Uh, just tailoring my teaching to uh, certain ritual times where when the God's energies are available and then we will provide ahead of time the materials that you would want to use uh, in order to do oh, this program. So it will be like a, a totally a different format, not just a lecture and a meditation, but acting out the divine in a, a fun way, but then it can open your consciousness. That will allow you to transcend time, transcend space, and you are not going to ask how, where, when, what, how things are going to happen. This will give humanity a new understanding of how to handle life and also how to transform your own body. Nowadays, the whole idea uh, of uh, going to the going to Mars or any other planet is really a waste of time and a waste of energy. The yogis used to go there. They used to go there, but not with this body. Going with this body, now I was reading in the newspaper today, is very difficult because <coughs> your eyesight, because of the radiations there, will be impaired and also your bones uh, will be atrophied. So they have to uh, deal with a whole bunch of issues. So we need a different body, a body uh, which is already within us. It's not that you are going to get the body. It is already there. It is only identifying uh, with that body through which you can incarnate any god or goddess. So it's going to be a totally different program. I personally uh, am excited to do this program. So it will start from uh, January 1st. So I will give you more information 
uh, about the program and also you will get uh, special notifications uh, about the program if you are already in the program. God bless.